Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining me today. I'm excited to share with you more about Blue Jay's gateway for D365. I'm going to take a minute to introduce Blue Jay and NMB Solutions before we dive into what is Blue Jay's gateway and how it can help provide new level of control and visibility over your supply chain and shipping process. But first, I'll tell you a little bit about myself. Um, my name is Michelle Frenier. I am Director of Solutions Consulting here at Blue Jay. I've held compliance roles with both U.S. customs broker and forwarders, as well as supply chain leadership roles uh, with importers and exporters. Uh, so that kind of gives me a unique look on how import-export compliance works, having worked for both a provider as well as individual importers. In addition uh, to international customs compliance, uh, my expertise includes uh, leveraging EDI, collaborating with vendors and brokers and 3PL warehouses. Um, I've worked heavily in managing international trade data across separate platforms, um, specifically in the 3PL area. And my passion is really for systems and customer experience, um, which I'm hoping to tell you more about today on how BlueJay and NMB have partnered to sort of provide those best-in-class supply chain solutions um, that are really going to enhance your D365 experience. So a number of you might have heard of BlueJay, maybe you haven't, um, and in, you know, sort of wondering exactly who are we and how do we fit into this conversation. Um, so simply put, you know, we're company, we help companies around the world achieve excellence in logistics and trade. Um, we are here to provide services and applications that support them throughout their business and really look for ways to have our systems do the heavy lifting on the terms of supply chain and sort of and what I'm here to talk about is trade compliance. There's plenty of heavy lifting to be done there these days. Um, to tell you a little bit more about Blue Jay as a whole, uh, we have 7,500 customers, including um, sort of lead manufacturing and retail distributors, um, customers in the forwarding and brokerage space, as well as carriers and logistics service providers. Um, these different uh, customer sectors of ours, they trust us to sort of help them manage and optimize their experience in supply chain. So we're here to provide these customers and partners um, with a global trade network, um, which we have over 50,000 partners that are sort of interconnected in some way within the supply chain um, that customers can access by using BlueJay. Although we're headquartered in the UK, um, we do operate across the globe. Uh, we have 12 uh, countries where we have offices. Not that we get to go into them very often, but we have beautiful offices um, around the world. Um, offices in the U.S., Germany, Netherlands, Denmark, Italy, Singapore, China, and Australia. Um, and we see around $50 billion worth of goods traded out of our platforms every year. Um, and specifically in the customs area, um, this is kind of a fun fact, 20% of all imports into the United States clear through Customs Blue Jays management system, um, which is a pretty significant number considering the amount of trade that happens in the United States. Um, and one of the services that we offer to these customers is sort of a hands-free, lights-out um, clearance of our um, of their shipments through our system. And so that is a huge um, player in how Blue Jay gets business done and how we've done that with NMB here on these integrated D365 uh, solutions. So we're going to talk about Blue Jay DNA for a minute and how that is part of how we deploy and how we look at ourselves within the market as a software provider. The first item that we talk about are our applications. Um, so when you think of our applications, um, you think about best-in-class, purpose-built, cloud-based solutions. So they're here to optimize and sort of um, automate all aspects of your business. Um, and we're going to spend time today looking at the various solutions that we've already made accessible through BlueJay's gateway to D365. Next, we look at network. Um, so this is how we connect our applications to the global trade network. This is where we bring items together to 
collaboratively give benefits to our customers and collaborate with our partners and customs over the network. And lastly, we have our data. So data is king, right? So our approach centers around getting the right data in the hands of the right people at the right time. And sort of that starts with the quality and accessibility of the data, and then identifying metrics that matter for our customers, and then giving you the context and the ability to take a deeper level of data that can be used to inform and drive better decisions within your company. The Blue Jay DNA, this is the blending of the data, the networks and the applications that make you more competitive. We call this methodology the Blue Jay way. And that's because it comes down to touching every part of our business, from our culture to our philosophy and to the services that we provide our customers. We ultimately get you where you wanna go. So our goals are your goals. You know, that's what we look at when we think about the Blue Jay way and the DNA and how it affects our customers. We take a long-term view of our philosophy to generate value across the applications. We look for year-over-year -year data and ways that we can really um, streamline your business. Our customers love that we, they are a part of our creation. They are part of an influencing how we roll out these new technologies, how they provide data to us as we um, go to develop what's the next best and best practice um, in the supply chain. Okay, today we're gonna take a peek at Blue Jay's overall portfolio of solutions. So we've created this infograph to sort of communicate how the different supply chain partners interact with our solution. So the first thing to notice is the bottom most layer here where we have the three separate columns. So we have shippers. These are your retailers, your manufacturers, and your wholesalers. Next to that are LSP or your logistics service providers. So these are your 3PLs. And then lastly, we have the brokers and forwarders. And those are the folks that move goods all over the world and make sure they move compliant. Okay. So for each of these verticals, we have sort of purpose-built solutions for your supply chain execution. And we divide our capabilities into layers that start moving through the process. So we're gonna start that with the top tier here. You'll see your data visualization. So our applications and our network generate transactions and get to work, right? So we capture the data as that's happening so that you can make better, more profitable decisions. And we help you see the issues that are there and provide ways and informations for, information for you to solve it. And specifically, we have tools such as our Freight Market Index, BlueDex, or Blue IQ by BlueJay. These are all the data programs that are running behind the scenes that really help you get an eye on your business. The next layer we move to is the customs and compliance layer. That's where I'm gonna be spending the majority talking about today in our presentation. But it starts with our global trade, um, global customs management trade platform. And this is a multi-country customs compliance solution that enables businesses to comply with customs and regulations across multiple countries. Okay, we both offer both this global platform that's made to adapt to multinational companies who are doing business um, specifically. We have a high amount of customers in Europe using this solution. But we also offer individual, um, more specific local regional programs similar to um, Customs Management US, right? There are different entities and governments who have very specialized offerings in the, in the compliance area, and, and definitely the US is one of those. Our international compliance suite it also includes what we're going to talk about today, which is automated screening and how we manage compliance risks with trade partners and transactions. And it includes our denied party screening solution, which is part of it's part of this toolbox of our international compliance. And it happens to already be available today in BlueJay's gateway for D365. So we're going to take a look at that more closely. Then you've got the middle tier, right? This outlines our transportation management lineup. You'll notice there's three separate TMS offerings here, TMS offerings here. 
And, you know, the reason behind that is it becomes down to those target verticals again, right? Your shipper, your LSPs, and your brokers and forwarders. Each of these different um, parties have different ways and needs that they have in business. And no one system can really efficiently streamline transportation across all three, right? It would be pretty cumbersome. And we understand that. So we've created solutions that rise to that challenge and we have purpose-built solutions in each of these three areas. To talk about those a little bit more in depth, um, the Blue Jay Transportation Management for Forwarder Solution, or what we call TMFF, is a global platform that handles multiple languages and currencies. It has automated key processes and solutions that help forwarders cut costs and takes each shipment and makes a better service to the customer and provides the ability to differentiate their business in a competitive market. And forwarders are really looking for that edge. Um, whether or not a customer chooses to use them or not has a lot to do with what they have for tools in their toolbox. So we help with that. Then there's BlueJay's LSP platform. This is a complete integrated software solution that manages the entire logistics operation end to end for three PLs. It includes mobility and warehouse management modules, yard management and cross dock, and it has a multimodal transportation um, module that looks at storage all the way to invoicing activities, all under one platform. And lastly, we have BlueJay's TMS for shipper solution, which is sort of an easy to use transportation system that's with robust functionality. It's for our shippers. Um, it has a true SaaS model, so users benefit from faster innovation, the ability to scale, and access to the global trade network. And then sitting over the top of all of these solutions is our collaboration level layer, offering a variety of portals. So this allows you to seamlessly communicate with your suppliers, your carriers, your customers all electronically over the web. And the last layer is our delivery solutions, which include mobility and BlueJay's mobile star system and parcel. So Blue Jay Parcel is what we're going to be talking about today as it pertains to the compliance functionality. And this is a multi-carrier parcel shipping management system. It lets you have high volume transactions, multiple locations, international and domestic shipping. And that can be, you know, over whichever carrier you choose to use for parcel. And this is really the key player in Blue Jay's gateway for D365. And we're going to look at that a little bit more closely, how that pertains to the compliance piece. Okay. So that's Blue Jay. Um, now we're going to talk a little bit more about NMB and how they fit into the equation. So NMB is the reason I'm really here to talk to you today. They are a Microsite Dynamics Gold Business Application Partner. They specialize in supply chain solutions for D365, FNO, and AX. And they are not new to the scene here. So they're founded in 1998 and were one of the first uh, value-added resellers in Canada and have been providing D365 FO and AX solutions since 2005. We have a deep native integration between BlueJay and D365 and that's because of NMB. They ensure that BlueJay is available to the Microsoft community, which is just wonderful. No going outside the system, no having to have multiple tiers of uh, products up on your computer trying to navigate. You simply go to D365 and boom, BlueJay's enabled because of the NMB solution and their connections that are deeply integrated. It's not just simply a case of integrating, you know, to allow data to flow between us. It also provides additional functionality within D365 itself. It allows the use of the applications seamlessly and frictionlessly. So NMB effectively allows users to leverage the power of BlueJay's purpose-built applications, again, made to do business the way you do business without ever leaving D365 itself. So the way that NMB and BlueJay achieve this is through a close long-term partnership that we've had for many years but also through BlueJay's gateway for D365. So we're gonna take a minute to talk about that. BlueJay's gateway for D365 is a Microsoft Certified Dynamics 365 Finance and Ops module. It's available through AppSource and it provides secure, real-time, and easy-to-manage integrations between BlueJay and Microsoft Dynamics. 
it provides a new level of control over the entire logistics and compliance shipping process, right? It's minimizing the errors caused by data duplication. No re-entry from leaving one system to the other. It's all one, right? Integrated with the ERP flow. BlueJay's gateway for D365 is fast. We can implement it fast. We can put the deployment to suit your business and it will be up and running quickly and accelerating that delivered business return on investment. The model allows you as a business to sort of scale and adapt quickly. And today, especially in the compliance world, you have to be able to adapt quickly. Rules and laws are changing at the speed of light and you wanna definitely be up to that uh, challenge. And with BlueJay integrated with NMB's D365, we're able to do that across the supply chain. So are there three main applications that are accessible today in the BlueJay gateway? So these are going to be areas that you can actively use right now. So today's presentation, we're gonna really delve deeper into the compliance functionality because that's sort of my background. Um, we're gonna be looking at BlueJay Parcel and how that is enabled with export filing, as well as denied party screening and how that is integrated into the D365 menu set and really right there at the tip of your fingers. So BlueJay's Parcel is an enterprise class shipping solution that is gonna enable companies to pack and ship smarter, right? Reducing that time, cost per package, those things that you're looking for in your business to make an impact. And of course, ease of use. You really need that in, in shipping. It's crazy enough. You don't need extra, extra clicks, extra problems. You just need a really well-tuned system. BlueJay's denied party screening function connects D365 customers to their compliance filings. They're able to go directly into our content, screen and bring back the relationship between your parties and whether they're listed on an industry recognized compliance list that you should be screening for. But we do that all automatically through the integration. So there's no coming outside of the system to see hey, does this customer or this vendor, are they okay to, to process shipments for? We do that for you and it's a seamless part of the workflow. The next iteration of the system, we're hoping that's going to extend into BlueJay's customs management suite. So you're gonna see more of us um, throughout the system. And again, how we provide customers with those heavy lifts in the compliance arena. Um, and we're gonna have that available in D365. So let's take a closer look at the system itself. So here we're looking at the AES enabled packing workbench. So this is a access through your shipping management menu within D365. And for parcel, it's really so simple for a user, right? You go in, you create your load, you build the shipment by packing the items into the single box that you want, you get your weight, you're ready to send your shipment. But you'll notice that on the screen, there's a little tiny AES icon here at the top of the workbench. This indicates when the shipment is ready and is subject to AES filing for export. So during this process, if the goods are over $2,500 US, the system automatically flags the shipment for AES and it sends the necessary data to customs through the BlueJay Gateway connection. From the compliance point of view, the system will decide if the shipment requires AES based on that master data that's already within D365. It looks at the value, it looks at the parties, right? And the data is passed to BlueJay for the AES filing and the messages are returned back automatically within D365. No navigating outside the system to look for things. You're right within your own system. So all of that functionality along with the results and refiling capabilities. So let's say you get an error and you need to refile. No running out to another system, no calling someone to help correct it. It's all done directly within D365. So now we're gonna take a look at the messages itself. So 
You'll notice here at the bottom, there is a status method, right? It's, expect, it's letting you know what the status of the, X, uh, the AES is, as well as returning the ITN number. So very important to have that internally for reporting and tracking purposes, but you'll also notice that it makes a compliant label that has the AES directly on it. Again, not carrier specific because Parcel allows you to use any carrier you like. Um, so the system is super flexible and it allows for you to be compliant sort of in a hands-free way. You just enter your goods and let the system do the heavy lifting. So we're going to just switch gears a little bit and talk about denied party screening. Okay. So here it's an infograph again showing that deep integration and deep connection between D365 and BlueJay. We are not having you jump out of the system at all. This is just directly happening between the connection with the systems. So it's pretty much seamless. You never see it. It just happens for you in D365, which is really special and very awesome for anybody who's sick of using siloed systems. Um, this is the one for you. It's quite exciting. So screening can be done in multiple levels and sort of at different stages within the shipping process. And this allows you to sort of screen those parties, individuals, countries. You can trigger screening or rescreening at any point when the customer details may have changed in your system. You can take a look at the menu options here within D365. They've embedded these wonderful links that help you not even have to think about what you're looking for. Right? You can easily navigate to view all customers that need address approval, or you can have a look at all the customers who've been denied through the screening process. That's pretty helpful if you know that you're looking at business and you want to see who's hitting on these screened lists. And it's critical that you can screen early in the order process, and that prevents unexpected issues on shipment day. The last thing you want as an exporter is to have this wonderful order that you've spent all this time with your sales folks to get out the door, and you realize on the day it's ready to ship that the person goes and does a last screen right before it ships to be sure they're okay, and they pop up on the denied party list. So you've got an ethics dilemma there, right? You have sales and people who have worked all to put this product together, and now you can't go. And you know whose fault it is? It's that awful compliance person. So we're always the awful people in the process, which is really hard because we're doing our job. But with systems like what we have here with Blue Jays Gateway for D365, you don't have to be that bad guy anymore because the process can happen sort of naturally. It's going to happen at the beginning of the process. You're going to have the ability to not only screen customers that are going to be getting the items, but also you can see there's a vendor layer in here. The vendors for the denied parties are going to allow you to have an approved list or a denied list. You know, the last thing you want to do is say, oh, I've got this new vendor. He's going to provide us with this product for this major contract we have. Again, all to find out that nobody screened them and, oh, they, you can't buy from them. They're on the denied list and now you've got a compliance issue, not to mention your customers were going to be disappointed. You know, you're going to miss out on those important things. So the screening can happen at multiple levels. It can be triggered automatically by the system and the content's all owned and managed by BlueJay. So it just happens and you get that expertise that we carry in the industry and we bring it back to D365 without you ever having to worry about where it's coming from or how to access what you wanna see. And that includes an audit trail and approvals all within the system. It's quite slick. So we're gonna take a look kind of at that flow, right? We just talked about how it all works. Now let's get a little bit deeper into it. So everything initiates here on the left in BlueJay's gateway for D365. It goes into our hosted content, right? It's looking at your corporate lists. It's looking at your sanction screening. It's looking at your denied parties. And then it's sending that data back out, right? If it's a pass, it comes back out into your screening results and you're good to go. If it's a fail, Depending on how you have the system set up, it can put that on a hold right there at different levels within the process. So you may not be able to create an order. You may not be able to ship to it. Or maybe not be able to accept a PO from this company, right? It's all automated within D365, all within your own view. And those alerts are distributed and made available. So we're going to take a minute to talk about content. So this is where it really, you know, you get down to the nitty gritty. This is what we do. 
here's a partial list of some of the commonly used lists that we get requested from the BlueJay compliance engine. So we've dedicated a team that manages all the content. So we don't buy it, we don't outsource it. It's BlueJay team who manages the changes in the content. And we're updating this continuously, right? Once, two times a day, you know, as the changes happen, and typically within 24 hours of the change. So the system uses multiple techniques to sort of screen these products to make sure these parties to make sure you're getting the best out of your compliance solution. One that people like is sort of this sounds like Metaphone algorithm that goes out and looks for exact matches, but also similar matches, misspellings, right? That all happens within the system without you having to wonder about it. That includes these sort of private restricted parties, right? Embargoes. All of that happens right directly within the system. We can also exclude words, right? So sometimes you have to omit words that would cause there to be sort of a fuzzy uh, response out of the system. That includes sort of country matching, right? Is it a direct match or is it this name exists in the whole world, right? So you may want to toggle that in or out depending on the type of product you're shipping. If you've got something licensable, you may not want to match by country. You may just want to say, hey, do you know these guys? Like, are they out there? Is any part of their company or company name marked? And that also has common word exclusions, right? Same thing, anything that's going to fog the clearance process. Now we're going to take a look at the shipment management parameters, and this allows the user to enable or disable different toggles within the system. This is sort of your dashboard, your control arm of how you're going to set this up. Oh, that is not what I wanted to do. I apologize. There, right? All right, parameters. So here's where we're going to talk about that customer match, right, or that country match. Red flag, exact match. This is where you can toggle in those different items that are going to control how much or how little you see from the engine, including a threshold. Those are all set at this level. You also have outbound process. This is for any shipments going out. Do you want to block denied addresses? Do you want to automatically stop those in the system? Do you want to block unscreened addresses? Even more important, right? These guys haven't even looked at. Do we want to stop it from happening if it falls into these criteria? Also on the sales side, the sales order. This is about getting ahead of those shipments, right? Screen early, find out early whether you have a problem. Do you have an address manipulation? Did someone change that address on you? Is the system going to know or not know, right? Well, in D365, it picks up those changes and if you have this checked off, it's gonna automatically notice that, go out and rescreen that change to make sure you're in full compliance. And that includes canceling a, a sales order, right? It's gonna say, no, you can't have a sales order if it's on this restricted list. So that all happens here on this menu. On the inbound process, similarly, we talked about vendors. How do you make sure that on the inbound that you're going to look for difference in addresses? Are you going to make sure that a purchase order can be created or not created depending on where they fall in the restricted party? This is all very helpful as you look at your business. This is where you strategize how do we need this system to work for us? And again, it's all in D365. There's also a manual arm here um, where you can go into the system and easily use the menu to run, approve, look at requests, approval log, all very simply directly coming out of your customers. You can go ahead and see all those things. If you want to put in a new request and you just want to do that manually, this is how you would do it. And if you want to look at the audit trail, right, about a request, you want to see here are my requests, here are my responses, and here's how we went ahead and reviewed that. We looked at threshold. We looked at country match in this case, right? We found that there was a denied party. How, how was it hit, right? It met off from Her Majesty's Treasury list. That's where it hit. Who did it? Oh, it was done by Ben, right? All of that is captured and created and kept within the system so you can see the history of all those requests and what has happened. 
as a compliance professional, this is gold because you do not need to worry about who within the company has sort of played around with things to get themselves a pass. Um, I've seen it happen. And but from compliance, you can see everyone who's touched it. If someone went in and changed something, you're like, oh, what is that? And you'd go and do your due diligence and investigate and you find, oh, they changed something to try to get past this flag that was stopping them from doing their job, right? This system is going to give you the eye in the sky onto everything that's going on. And then there's the approval log. So the approval log comes in and allows you to see everything that's gone through. And this is all for your hits. So the real hard work comes not from screening your parties or setting it up. It comes from the decisions you need to make. Once you get a hit, you have as a compliance professional the job to go into the system, take a look at your business, take a look at your customers, research the hits to say, hey, what is it that it hit on and why? And is this a false positive or is this something we need to worry about? And what it does in D365 is it goes out to the BlueJay content and it gives you references to the who, the what, the where, like why is this hitting? And it gives the compliance person the ability to drill in directly from the system and see those issues and come back with a determination. In this case, they've come back with a temporary approval as a false positive. And if you look at the bottom, there's one temporary approval until next screen. So they've made a note saying, this is gonna reset after this transaction so that we get to rescreen this item. Or hey, we've got an approved list. We've already looked this through and we've added it manually in the approved list. So we're gonna keep a list of customers who are on our whitelist. So we are going to allow for this um, and we're not going to worry about the false positives that come in. That works for some operations and we have that capability built right in. So where's the value, right? I think we talk a lot about how can compliance professionals get value from a computer system, right? A lot of folks are very skeptical about automating compliance because how could the computer possibly know what I need to do when I need to file, how's it supposed to know if this party is good or bad? Um, it gives you a little bit of pause. You think, well, as a human, I can do this much more um, completely, right? But in the world of compliance, you really need to focus on how do you get to the right result, the compliant result, quickly and in the way of promoting your business. You don't wanna hold things up as somebody is like combing through references, trying to figure out, hey, is this party okay or not? What's my inter internal process to double check that? Well, wouldn't it be terrible if you spent all day trying to look that up manually and realize, oh, there was never a problem at all, but you somehow lost that business for the company because it was not a streamlined process. So companies are going to be looking to the compliance professionals to have tools that allow them to quickly do their job, point out where the risks are, and move forward on the things that are good. Find the people that need to be marked off as saying, these are on my whitelist, this is on my corporate approved list, right? Really fine tune how the business looks. Stop, you know, nefarious actors, right? Don't sell to the wrong people and get your business in trouble. But don't worry about how that happens because, you know, NMB's D365 connection with Blue Jay lets you do it immediately. So it's quite helpful. So our goal today, you know, as I wrap up here, is to make your D365 compliance frictionless. Really, truly use the system to do the heavy lifting, file the AES when it needs to be filed, regardless of which carrier you want to use. Have those shipping labels print out with the right information, seamless compliance, auditable, easy, directly within D365. Get those denied parties screened, screen early, Promote your business, get it out the door, make sure it's compliant, don't hold things up, but really have a compliance edge in looking for what it is you need to see as a compliance professional and do so directly within your system, directly within D365. And with that, um, I thank you for being with us today. Thanks for um, attending and your time. I look forward to questions that you have. Um, and again, we're looking for that frictionless supply chain. Um, and we have that here with Blue Jays Gateway for D365.